Hello, in this video, I want to speak about AI generated images, specifically copyright, why it should be done, how easy it can be done. And we also look on some additional information related to this. By the way, do you know the secret messages in information is embedded inside AI render images, information that have it or everything about you, even on those images that you render on your computer, on your own server. So we'll look on some how you can access and read what information embedded there. And also why it's actually a good part of that information and how we can use this. We also look on some other cases related to copyright, for example, how people illegally steal my work and what I done about this. So some examples give it to you. Let's go ahead and start with this. First, the people say that AI art is not unique and because it's no human involved in all of this stuff, it cannot be copyrighted. That is very incorrect understanding of how AI generated art work. The people who actually create and generate AI art, it is involved not just one person pushing single button, it's what happened when you take digital photo, by the way. But it's a person who actually imagine in his head or his what they want to see. Then they need to express with the English word that is not easy for some of us and put it in a text, render and select it specifically, not as word, selected image that they think more match what they want to see, adjust the image as they need it and generate. AI generated art. It's a just a tool. It's a not magic solution. It's not something non-human created. In fact, thousands of developers who wrote the code for this application, millions of the people who tagged the image, it's a human collaborations of the work of the teams who created this tool. By the way, when we create each image, what we see there on AI, it is unique. It is almost impossible to create exactly the same image, even use the exactly the same words. And it's due to the nature of generation, due to use all this random seed and number. And that is actually important for us. Copyright AI image allowed the creators to sell that AI image on the market. So the many companies who are afraid the image is not copyrighted and other people may take it and use it for this work, that will be eliminated. It will create a much wider range use of the images, much bigger library for people access. It does will create some problems. And strangely, but nobody kind of mentioned this, but the biggest impact that can be affected. It is not graphic designers, not uh, uh, artists, digital artists, models. Models will be have the biggest impact. For example, right now, if I need photo shoot um, outfit on a model, or I need to do for the poster or other things, I actually need to hire the model. So at this point with AI, I don't need model because model can be rendered. I don't need word about uh, how model look. I can easy just put a string and adjust perfectly what I wanted. So in some cases, we never look on this, but I think using actors and models will suffer the most from this because no need for them anymore. Digital artists, I believe it explored even more and wider range will now include not just the people who can hold a pen, people who can also figure out how to express and programmers. Now programmers come more on the creative market and it does scare some digital artists. Okay, so this is a look on the copyrights kind of um, from one perspective. So let's speak we understand why we want copyright. Okay. Now, how easy it will be copyrighted before we jump on how easy copyrighted. Let me give you an example of 
my problem when people took some of my images and how I was deal with this. Let's start with this image. This is an image cloud. The interesting things, let me put about this. This is CG generated image I created inside the VU. VU is environmental 3D application. So I create this image. By the way, all those clouds, they are procedural driven by the function clouds. And I remember when I done this, people says, hey, it's not real. You're taking market from photographers. It was the same exact things as people saying right now about AI generated art. But interesting things about this, because the procedural clouds, they cannot be exactly the same if you don't have a source file. And I do have a source file. But it's interesting things because this is one of the surprisingly stolen image. And stolen, I mean, people take this image and put it in other work without my permission. And I constantly contact them and remind. The image can be used on different sites. So if you want to go, and by the way, this is very easy to verify. Just take your image, go to Google image, download it, and then you'll receive a bunch of them pages with some where the image can use it. So you can go and verify it. For example, this image using as a cover for the album right here found, which is illegal. If they monetize and make profit, it is. However, I'll personally, if it's non-commercial use or use it for uh, some other purposes, I can look, contact people and says, please give it credit where image you're using. And they're very common. However, sometimes people can be a real <laughs> jerk about this. So let me give you an example. I found the image was posting on a, one of the blog, sports blog. Don't know why they was doing. So I contact and says, hey, using the image, all the stuff reply was no seer. We found this on a Google. It's not using for money. So that is okay. Next, I need to tell them it doesn't matter and refer to specific laws. Well, the reply was very funny. It says, dude, check the law. Kbo, you're fucked. I don't know that he probably cannot even spell even he's American and I'm Russian. I, English, not my first language, but apparently he's does not use it spell checker as well as does use the reference to the law. But he says, my authority better than you. So you do have a jerks who actually when you contact them and says, hey, you actually legally took my file and took my image and use it. And they just says, hey, you know what? Screw you. And by the way, let me show how this story is end. 404. OK, it's how it end for him. But here's interesting things. What people don't understand, even they may have it big lawyers, the content creators, the artists digital, we have a very strong community. And if you know that somebody from my personal experience, somebody took the image from you without permission, and they not be nice because sometimes happen people may don't know this. But if they take and become the jerk, oh, I don't want to be on another side. It's interesting things how strong is creators community. And if you work as social influencer, trust me, you don't want to piss them off. Mostly if your internet is your job, don't do this. It's happened multiple times. Have people who take art in this and it was took down not by the lawyers but by the strong community. So let's go continue next. Here's another example. Same image people using on the site. And how say it is, you know, I don't mind them using some of these images that I created, but many of them nice. They give it the reference, but because it's on a Google, it doesn't give you right to use that image. Okay, here's another one. And this one a little bit more anger me because beside people put it here, what they do, they're going and submit like to some skunky wallpaper place who maybe sell them or give it something without give it credit and they take credit for themselves. By the way, just give you a little bit of things I done with this so for so many years. Even this image have it embedded my name inside that people don't know. But if we go to the court, they will find ways that embedded located because I'm only one who know where it's located. Most of my images do that. Okay. But beside that, they have it also metadata, which will speak later about this. So let me show another copyright. For example, 
this image um, I took photo shoot band and all the stuff and I put it and one give you things notice right here this is my copyright it is event information data information who take photo shoot and for whom I did the job so this is a copyright information and if you're not sure about this removing or altering copyright notice from image or stripping metadata from picture a violation of the law however somebody took this image they crop that information and this was one of the top trending image on a twitter or uh, instagram i think for some time with no information no relation nothing affecting my career or benefit me in any way because people don't know who took this image they don't know who composed who worked with those artists to place them to pose because yes i did place them on the Trump motorcycle. I tell him how to act. I asked them to do. They did this job, but I was on a charge of this, creating this image. And I have absolutely no recognition because somebody stripped this data, which is violation of the law. Hard to trace who did this because it was trending all over places and other stuff, but give you information that is hurt artists as well. Not necessarily in precise monetization, but to reference the images well you know and it's not just single people who prompt to do this for example this image was took without permission by mtv they put it on their website i contact very promptly very promptly they took down without any compensations or anything but again you know um it's happened by the way neon trees if you don't know it's excellent band excellent people very nice fun to uh, work with them but again, this is one early before they are kind of become bigger when they're just starting up. But it's not just a small people, individuals, corporations, company will also try to save penny because people work there and then it's not necessary. We'll give you information about this. Now it's interesting, but many people don't realize that how much information embedded inside the images. And what I'm just let me show these simple things. For example, this one was taken on a camera Canon R5. I took this image and it's actual process as JPEG. It's not even raw image from the camera. But if you process inside the Photoshop, Lightroom, um, Luminar, any other ones, they also still preserve and put it some embedded data. So you can, some of them you can access easy by going to file info and you can see right here basic. I'm after this is copyright to Chopin photography. You even have it information about the camera when it was shot, what lens use it, and this is embedded inside the file as metadata. And this same metadata can access to any images. If you render, for example, on Night Cafe, or you render like on a mid journey, or you render on your own computer like for example this is a local installation of stable diffusion but information is embedded inside the image i'll show you how you can read and access this but let me tell you a little bit history this is not brand new to include the data inside file it was for from time when image was created i remember in the early 90s we used to pass some information embedded inside the images so other people don't know. Like you send a photo of somebody and people say, oh, it's a beautiful photo. But people who knows, they look on the size of the file says, hey, something else. There. They can open and here go. You have some additional option information pass in. It could be anything from video game to some document or some other stuff. Uh, yeah, when I was younger, I had much fun to uh, programming. Yes, I am geek. I'm a social nerd, if you can tell this. And I do a lot of programming and I had my fun time. But so let's look right here. We have it, our stable diffusion that run on our local machine. And if we're going to info file, you can drag and drop. You can see right here, we actually says all parameters samplers and all technical information embedded inside the image 
10 info if you just open in a simple text editor notepad whatever just open the file image beside because most of people who does not know they just double time click and operation system handle file it's look on extension of the file like png jpeg whatever and based on this expansion figure out how to handle this file however any file any file it is the code it's information there and if we just open in text pad you'll notice right here we have extra parameters in this section on top it's where usually something is embedded you can see right here the information is embedded inside the image okay it is not going against you actually this is a huge benefit because of wherever you render digital image with ai you have it all technical information here parameters what words we was using what seed and hash and all this stuff by nature itself ai image already copyrighted so it's meaning if i use a celebrity name it will be here if celebrity name want to see my image cannot be rendered it's easy you can just track in this stuff inside the code also i have it my the hash number which is can be easy a touch doesn't matter what service you're using if you're using mid journey service if you're using any cafe they can easy implement the internal database where a for register user have it their own hashtag hash name and everything so if somebody took your image and using they can easy to reference to this of course people can say you can go and remove this copyright information you know if i go on a court and i says here's my image with a all my hashtag and all information embedded and here's the info of the person bring this image says it's his with no information whom the court will believe it without question person who have it all metadata metadata is protecting you so by nature itself ai images already copyrighted they just need to be recognized by the court so those secret messages that embedded inside the images that already render even your own machine it's a beneficial to you as an artist i know some people who may do legal stuff now freak out and Whoa, what i'm going out to do don't worry if you raise this data it's got another data that can be traced okay be honest be good person and you don't need to worry about this but for artists who created they can see this and it's information if somebody took it your info and using it's a trackable so it's already built in inside the image copyright already there all what it's need to be done it's be recognizable by the court it is if it's some people still may say it's not human created art which i highly argue against this because it's a more human art than any digital photos that people take it just on their iPhones. Okay. You put it more effort, it's putting way more work to creating this beautiful art than people who pull out iPhone and reactively pushed on the button and take a snapshot of something. So let's kind of go in a summary a little bit about this. In the beginning, we'll look on some items i'll show you some of the items of my experience of copyright and not point says oh poor me all oh, that's happened i can handle that i want to show you the copyright will go even with the items that already support by copyright copyright does not protect people from stealing the image all copyright give it us right to preserve um our claim on the image so we can actually use it for commercial work and sale right now stock photos adobe and all of this they refuse take ai render arm art their reason is not as a bad quality or anything it's excellent quality not reason of competition the only reason they refuse and many companies refuse also use this art because it's not copyrighted and it's totally understand from their side but i think if we all help to write letters petition and ask people qualified people to look on the copyright issues it's why it should be copyrighted that will be overturned very fast 
I think the problem is incompetent people looking on the copyrights and worried how do I can copyright this image. The system that is already in place with AI render art, tracking and everything, it should be actually applied to all digital photos to preserve them. Digital media, it is very um, assignable to specific generation. It's a trackable in a good way. So overall, here's uh, my few cents about copyright. If you agree or disagree, let me know. If you have your own stories, please share. Hopefully, it's give you some more information and some way to look where is information located so you can kind of modify and make it more personal. Same like with Photoshop, even or other application. If you use it before and you never know how to do this. Now, you know, you can go inside your application, wherever you use it and set up personal information there as well. You can add information inside um, other files and if for some reason the service that you're using does not provide options to track seed word, the render words and all the stuff, I would kind of contact them and maybe ask to do this because the more we do this, the easier it can be trackable, even without copyrights or anything. At least you can look on the image and says, hey, does these people um, use it my image or they don't? So you can actually see directly what's going on in this. If you like this video, please give us thumbs up. If you don't like it, put a two thumbs up. Okay. Share this video. Let other people to see. It will help me also grow on my YouTube channel. Help me also create a new videos. If you have any interesting subject you want to talk about, let me know about this. As well, please subscribe, click notification. I know all this is exactly the same, same things going blah, 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 blah. All this from beginning to end, but it does help. Honestly, it, your support is greatly help for content creators to create better content and more. So we all can grow and create better art. Thank you for watching and have a great day.